Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries here at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith and share in the Upper Room Daily Devotional, share in some prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we always like to know who popped by. Today is Monday, April 22nd. 2024. It is a Monday and it is Earth Day. So happy Monday and happy Earth Day to everybody. We'll be in the book of Psalms today. So if anybody would like to follow along, you're more than welcome to do so. We'll be in the book of Psalms. If not, feel free just to listen along, but we'll be in the 19th chapter of that. Give everybody a few minutes to hop on before we can begin. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. <coughs> we had a busy Saturday at the cop house. Um, I had a thing at my gym that morning. It's called a dry try. Um, it's where you row for 2,000 meters, do 300 body weight like exercises, and then run 3.1 miles. So I was pretty tired by the time <laughs> 11 a.m. rolled around on Saturday. Um, but then we were going over to a friend's house. Um, just to hang out for the afternoon, so we loaded up the kids and the dogs, because they have a fenced-in backyard, um, and so it was a good afternoon. It was just incredibly busy, oh, and I got all the stuff for the senior graduation, too, so it's just a busy Saturday. It feels like I'm ready for a weekend, and it's only Monday, <laughs> but it was good. It was busy, but it was good. Good morning, Barbara. It's good to see you. Okay, well, let us begin. Psalms chapter 19, verses 1 through 4, and I will be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version, updated edition. And this is our scripture for today. <coughs> the heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Your voice is not heard, yet their voices go out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the earth, and the heavens he has sent a tent for the sun. And our focus verse for today is Psalms 19.1 of the NIV, which reads, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of their hands. Our thought for the day is the beauty of God's creation is all around me, and our uh, devotion today comes from Hank of Michigan, and these are the thoughts that he is sharing with us today. Several years ago, my wife and I stayed in a rented cabin in the Rocky Mountains. I will never forget that night. The sky was filled with millions of beautiful stars. They seemed so close so that we could almost reach up and touch them. We stared at them for some time, praising and worshiping our grade to God for the wonder of creation. The words of Psalms 19, 1 through 4 became clear to us that evening. The heavens declared the glory of God. The skies proclaimed the, hand, the work of his hand. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They have no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voices go into all of the earth. Their words to the end of the world. The creation speaks powerfully of God, God in God's infinite wisdom, majesty, and creative power. No matter where we live, we can look around and see the wonder and beauty of God's creation. And our prayer focus for today is praise for the beauty of creation. Creation is all around us. We just have to stop and look and see and pause and be in awe of it. Um... Years and years ago, Travis and I, I think this was actually the summer before we got married. I think, yeah, this was the summer before we got married. So it's been 13 years now. Um, we had the opportunity to go to Colorado with like a big group of people. And Travis and I, we stopped off at Garden of the Gods. Um, I think it's in Colorado Springs. Don't quote me on that. I should have looked that up. Um, but we went to Garden of the Gods um, in Colorado. If you've never been, Highly, highly recommend it, um, but it's just so breathtakingly beautiful. Um, just seeing all of the different rock formations, seeing the mountains, 
Um, and then we went on to Breckenridge with the group of friends. And it was summertime, so Travis and I, we got to go hiking up into the mountains with all the beautiful trees and everything. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's breathtaking. Um, not that, you know, living in Kansas and Missouri doesn't have, you know, its own, you know, beauties and everything, but Colorado is just beyond beautiful. Um, hoping to be able to take the kids there one day so that they can see the mountains and everything. Um, but just seeing the beauty of every day around us. So my kiddos, they've never seen Colorado or the mountains. We need to do that. That's definitely on the list of trips I'd like to take to do with them. Um, but my daughter especially, I think my son just more copies her, but my daughter, she is 100% into earth. <laughs> she is my little earth lover. Um, they had an animal club when she was like in like kindergarten and school. It was like an after school, like extracurricular thing. And it was like teaching them all about the animals. And I mean, she liked the earth and everything before then, but like that like cemented it for her. She is like so into recycling. If we don't have the right thing in the right bin, like we get chastised for it. Um, she wants to save the bugs on the playground. We have a tree in our front yard. Don't ask me what type it is. I should know this, but I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. But we have this tree in our front yard and she has named it Tree. Um, and she goes up and hugs it all the time. And she has even recently, in like the last two, three months, um, decided to become a vegetarian. So my eight-year-old is now a vegetarian, um, refuses to eat any sort of meat whatsoever, um, which has made my life a little challenging and everything, but we figured out ways to do it and everything. But she's already such a little steward of the earth. She is out to save the world. My husband and I, we've already said we're probably going to have to bail her out of jail at one point in time um, because she's probably going to chain herself to a tree that's like being trying to be cut down or something. Um, but that's been instilled in her to take care of the creation of the things that God has entrusted us to. And we should all be, you know, reminded, you know, from this little eight year old and everything to, you know, be kind to our earth. Um, be kind to the creatures that inhabit it, um, you know, be kind to our trees and everything. And it is Earth Day, so, you know, this is our, you know, yearly reminder and everything that, you know, take care of Earth, it'll take care of you. Um, God entrusted us with, you know, this beautiful creation that is around us and everything. So let's make sure to take care of it so, you know, not just that my kids can, you know, have a chance to enjoy it but you know future generations too as well so as you go forth today just think of you know the small little things that you can do in your life to help out god's creation and god's earth whether it be plant some flowers or just water your existing flowers you know be kind to animals just do your own little part today that you can think of so let us pray awesome god Open our eyes to see the wonder and glory of your creation. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you everybody for joining me on this Earth Day Monday. But everybody has a great rest of their day. Thank you, Debbie, for joining me. It's always good to see you. Good afternoon to you. I remember you saying that you're an hour ahead, so good afternoon to you. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their um, day today. And we will see you again soon. Oh, hold on. I have a furry friend that wants to say hi to everybody before we leave. Hold on. Okay, Sage, come here. You can say hi to everybody. There you go. Okay. I'm slowly making way. There you go. There you go. She's happy it's Earth Day too. She enjoys the outdoors. There you go, Sage. Say hi to everybody. There you go. <laughs> and her brother's about to come up. Sherman, you want to say hi to everybody? Can we say hi? Yes. Oh, yes. Happy Earth Day. There you go. <laughs> well, take such good care. Bye-bye.